Now, elsewhere in West Africa, the, the Mali capital of Bamako is relatively peaceful today following the toppling of President Amadou Toumani Toure in a coup last week by a group of renegade soldiers. Coup leader Captain Amadou Sanogo has called for calm as the military junta tries to pressure to reassure rather a wary public faced with looting and growing shortages of food and fuel. Meanwhile, the foreign minister of neighboring Burkina Faso, Jibril Basole, says the citizens of Mali need help. The only thing we can do is to assist the Malian. That's why I'm very uh, glad that the head of state of ECOWAS will soon meet in uh, Abidjan. And we hope that uh, this uh, head of state meeting will provide opportunity uh, to restore peace, stability uh, in Mali. Now we have two problems that are overlapping. The problem of Bamako. You know, the problem of the power, of the stability, of democracy, of elections. And we have the other one in the north, Mali. So we need to take care of the two at the same time and find a durable solution for Mali. Now, in northern Mali, media reports say Tuareg rebels fighting for independence for the vast desert north have exploited the military coup and are advancing towards several northern towns.